Hi guys, John here again from Tech Ninja. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Saiyajin Mod 9, um, which is a new ROM, it's not been released yet. First of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to the uh, Saiyajin Mod team for the work they do on this. They put it out of, out there for a lot of people's enjoyment, um, don't really expect anything for it either. So uh, I think they deserve a lot of credit. I'd also like to thank Andy C as well for the help he's, uh, help he's put into this and getting it up and running for me. So it's a custom ROM. One thing I'd also like to say as well, if you do flash a custom ROM onto your phone, please be aware you do so at your own risk. So you're straight into the uh, ice cream sandwich. Just unlock it. As you can see, looks exactly like the Nexus. All the logos are the same. It is the uh, it is the stripped down no bloatware experience? If we're going to about phone, you can see the version I'm running. So it confirms there that it's Android ice cream sandwich 4.0.3. This build was released this morning at 10 to 6. It is a nightly build. As I said, it is work in progress. It's not officially been released. This one, for me, the bug fixes were the video playback wasn't in colour, that's sorted now. Uh, I've also had a problem with, I lost total data connectivity, just had to reflash it, it was absolutely fine. And also, the, the bug was still there on this version, but I'm sure they will fix. Uh, I can't charge the phone while it's off, otherwise it freezes and the battery light stays on. In which case you have to take the battery out, reboot the phone and it's fine. So as long as you don't charge the phone with it turned off, that isn't an issue. As you can see it is exactly the same as the Nexus. Just to show you that data issue is gone. Turn the Wi-Fi off. Straight into your HSDPA frequency. Turn that back on. Really quick. Really responsive. The benchmark tests I've been getting on this are absolutely fantastic. Um, faster than my friend's Nexus, faster than my friend's HTC. They really have done a good job on this. As you can see, it's exactly the same as the experience you get on the Nexus. Quick toggles up there. Back into your settings there. The camera. Um, although it's not as quick as the Nexus, it still opens up really quick. Straight on. The pictures don't take don't take as fast, but it's not to be expected. It wasn't developed for this phone. Well, this is exactly the same with your menus. Your widgets are there; they're all resizable. Folders are working. They're all fine. Obviously, there's still some apps yet that haven't been uh, haven't been made for ice cream sandwich yet. So you might find that you do lose some of your apps. There isn't many now that aren't supporting, and they are filtering through. Officially, this is only only out there for one phone, and that's the Nexus. I just got a little bit bored of waiting for Samsung to release their version, and to be honest, I do find this version better without TouchWiz over the top. Everyone's got their own opinion, but that's mine. Conflict between your widgets and your apps pretty quick. Everything's just so fast. To contacts, as you can see, scrolling through. Also, once again, exactly the same as you would. Nexus. It is. Uh, they've done a brilliant job on this, and it is still work in progress. But I get a feeling it's it's due soon to be released. If you have had a go, if you've done it yourself, let me know what you think. Uh, your views might be different to mine, um, but I think it's absolutely fantastic. If you can, uh, if you can give it a go, you've got the uh, the ability to give it a go. Then why not? One thing I'd also recommend as well: you get on here, ROM Manager. Um, this once you've installed it the first time, once you've done your routing. Obviously remember as well with rerouting and doing anything like this you do give up your warranty. That will bother some people. Uh, but on this now, once you've done that, to download an updated ROM, you click download ROM, follow it through and it does everything for you. I paid for the premium version which is 399 
Um, it's a very small price to pay for what you get. Makes everything a lot easier. It's also another good app. Just turn the phone off. Exactly the same as the Nexus. Like the CRT screens. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. More often than not it does. But overall it's uh, it's really good, so let me know what you think. And once again, thanks for watching.